Welcome back, financial futures enthusiasts. I'm thrilled to have you here for an in-depth exploration of the critical social security updates unfolding in 2024. If you find this information valuable, don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe, and a big shout out to Yent for supporting the channel their details are down below. Now, let's deep dive into the meaty details of the social security changes this month. Brace yourself, folks, because social security checks are getting a significant boost a solid 3.2% increase, courtesy of the recent cost of living adjustment, COLA. Now, here's the breakdown for the January payment schedule. January 3. If you're part of the season's social security recipients who started before May 1997. January 10. If your birthday graces us between the 1 and 10. January 17. Attention to those celebrating birthdays from the 11 to the 20. January 24. Last but not least, if your birthday falls in the 21 to the 31 range. Hold on tight because 2024 brings a slew of significant changes, impacting both social security beneficiaries and those still dancing on the non-social security side. First up, let's talk about taxes get ready to loosen those purse strings. Social security relies heavily on payroll taxes, and the wage cap subjected to these taxes is flexing its muscles up to $168,600. What does this mean? Higher earners will now find themselves shelling out taxes on an additional $8,400 of their hard-earned wages. Now, let's unpack the seven major social security changes that are kicking into gear as we usher in the new year. Bigger social security checks, it's not just a COLA adjustment, it's a 3.2% boost, putting more money in the pockets of the program's 67 million beneficiaries. Higher tax bills for high earners. If you're in the upper income echelons, you'll need to brace yourself for a larger tax bill, thanks to the raised taxable income cap of $168,600. Increased maximum monthly payout. On the flip side, for a select group of lifetime high earners, the maximum monthly payout at full retirement age is climbing from $3,627 to $3,823. Two states no longer taxing Social Security. Good news for residents of Nebraska and Missouri you can bid farewell to state taxes on your Social Security benefits. Early filer withholding thresholds raised. For those who opt to claim benefits before hitting full retirement age, the thresholds for withholding have seen an uptick, providing a bit more financial flexibility. Disability income thresholds increased. Workers with disabilities are getting some positive news non-blind workers can now earn up to $15.50 per month without facing benefit stoppage. Tougher qualification for Social Security benefits. Future generations, listen up. Qualifying for Social Security benefits just got a bit more challenging. To earn a quarter of coverage, you'll need to rake in $17.30 in earned income. But before we conclude this deep dive, so, you're a senior, you've got your investments, SSI, SSDI, or Social Security benefits, right? But did you know there's more out there? The SNAP program, with EBT cards, can bring in billions of dollars for seniors. Surprisingly, three out of five eligible seniors haven't applied. Today, we're delving deep into how to apply, its impact on your SSI, SSDI, or Social Security benefits. Stick around for the step-by-step -step guide. Before we get into the details, it's essential to recognize that these benefits are yours by right. You've paid into them during your working years, and they're here to support you now. Unfortunately, poverty is rising among seniors, and many are leaving substantial benefits on the table. According to the National Council on Aging, seniors are missing out on a whopping $30 billion in benefits that could ease the burden of high inflation. The SNAP program, also known as food stamps, is a lifeline for many seniors facing rising costs. Eligible seniors can receive up to $5,000 a year in assistance. Imagine having that extra cushion to cover your food expenses, energy bills, housing, and medications. 
It's your money, waiting for you to claim it. Now, it's not just SNAP benefits. There are various other assistance programs like Medicare Part D, Housing Choice Vouchers, and Supplemental Security Income. These programs are designed to support seniors in different aspects of their lives, from healthcare to housing. One common misconception is that receiving SNAP benefits could affect your SSI payments. The truth is it won't. SNAP benefits are designed to help with your nutritional needs and won't impact your monthly SSI payments. So, there's no reason to hesitate apply and claim what's rightfully yours. Now, let's get practical. Applying for SNAP benefits is easier than you might think. Head over to the website mentioned in the description for a directory of state-specific information. I've also provided the numbers for general assistance and EBT card support. Remember, this is money you've already contributed through taxes, so don't let it go unclaimed. Now, some might be wondering, will my SSI payments change if I get food stamps? The answer is a resounding no. SNAP benefits won't impact your monthly SSI benefits. It's an additional resource to help you put healthy food on your table. The same holds for SSDI receiving food stamps won't affect your eligibility for Social Security Disability Insurance. So, there you have it, Financial Futures family. Don't miss out on the benefits you're entitled to. Whether you're a senior on SSI, SSDI, or Social Security, explore the opportunities available. Take advantage of the SNAP program and let that extra $100 to $200 make a positive impact on your life. If you found this information helpful, drop a comment below, and let's keep the conversation going. I'll be heading to the comments section to hear your thoughts. Until next time, stay financially savvy, stay informed.